Hi. In this video, I'll be showing you how to resolve um, a bit uh, locker problem. So, for example, when you try to actually um, activate BitLocker on a device and you receive uh, an error message which says this device can't use trusted platform model. So, let me just show you the error message I received when I try to actually activate BitLocker on this device. So, when I click on right click on this my local C drive and I click turn on BitLocker, here you see, you see I receive this message. This device can't use a trusted platform model. The administrator must set the allowed BitLocker without a compatibility TFA. Um, so what happens is this. So because this, well, in this test environment, I'm actually using a virtual uh, machine. So which, of course, you know, the TPM is not um, configured during startup. So what I need to do is this. I will need to go to my domain controller. Yeah, I've already created um, an uh, organization unit which my computer is in it. So then I'm going to create a group policy. Here I created a group policy. Let me just show you the group policy I created. And I will bit locker. And I open and I edit the bit locker. So here what I need to configure is this. Require additional authentication and startup. So where do you find this? So let me just expand my group policy a little bit. Here on our computer configuration, in our Windows template, Windows components, bit locker drive encryption, and operating system drives. So just double click on request additional authentication and startup, and you have to check allow BitLocker without a compatible TPM. So without you doing this, you will not be able to configure BitLocker on that machine where you receive that error message. So just configure this and click on. So just well, you have to say allow startup pin, which I allow startup pin and allow startup pin keep startup key and pin with TPA. So click apply and OK. And of course, um, I will need to move my computer to the right domain. Let me just move my to the right position unit. Click yes. And I will come back to my computer here and click cancel. And to update that policy because for this computer to get the policy I just implemented, I'll need to do a GP update or I will start the computer. So I'm going to force this policy to be implemented on this computer. Okay. I can't do the computer policy. Well, the computer policy updated has completed successfully. So that is actually what I need. Because the policy I implemented was a computer, was a actually for the computer, not for the user. So this the process is still busy. But right now, if I try to actually configure BitLocker, let's see what happens. Here you can see everything goes well without any problem. So that is how you solve that on the problem if you receive an error message that says the device can't use trusted platform model. So thank you very much for watching my video. And please, if you have any question related, related to IT, you can always send me a personal message. And also, if this, if this video has been of any help to you, please don't forget to leave, leave a, a comment and give me a like for taking my time to create this video. Thank you very much. My name is Kelvin Johnson. And please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more IT-related videos. Thanks and goodbye.